In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a pretty ex inexpensive sump for a uh, reef tank or just for a regular fish only tank. Okay, supplies. First thing you're going to need is going to be a tank. I'm using a 10 gallon tank. Uh, you can use whatever size you want, really, it doesn't matter. Some other stuff you're going to need. You need some silicone. Make sure that's aquarium safe. You need a Sharpie marker. Gonna need some masking tape, tape measure, some uh, acrylic or glass. Let's see. Gonna need a little rag. Got one for my fish tank with a little fish on it. That's only for fish tank use. Uh, when you're washing those, I just wash mine with real hot water and uh, throw it in the dryer. So it dries up real quick. And you're also going to need a drill for the way I'm going to do mine with a, uh, with a diamond bit for drilling glass. Alright, so basically what we have going on down here is our inlet tube is going to be over here on this side. And uh, we're going to split it across like this. So we're going to take, uh, we're going to take two pieces of acrylic. We'll cut them to size. And that's going to be going in like that. I'm just going to show you right now for the basic idea of the design that will give you all the dimensions afterwards. This one's going to go here. So this one right here is going to, the, the inlet is going to dump into this one, overflow into this one, and then uh, and we got another one down here that's going to overflow into that one, and then overflow into this one which this will be our return pump area so it'll pump it, I'll pump the water back up into the tank okay so now you're going to take your tape measure and you're going to measure what the tank is from front to back which is 10 inches in this case for a 10 gallon and it is uh, 11 inches tall about so now you got to determine how large you want your first box to be. Mine is going to be five inches, five inches off the walls, uh, lining up to each other. So it's going to make a five-inch square on the bottom, and they're ten inches tall, just like so. Now my second piece that's going to be right over here in this area is going to be. 8 inches tall and that's also going to be 5 inches off of the front of the wall so the 5 inches plus the 5 inches equals the 10 that goes all the way across the tank now this piece down here is going to be a little bit lower than this so this can overflow into this so that is going to be right here and this piece is 7 inches tall And that this is 10 inch wide piece here to fit across the, the whole tank. When you're cutting your acrylic, you want to use a straight edge, and um, you want to you want to really score it real deep with the razor. Um, you want to try and get it pretty deep, and then when you're when you're snapping it, you want to do little segments at a time, and don't go all the way down. You just want to get hear the crack. Once you hear the crack, you're good. Just move down a little bit. And then uh, this little protective coating on here will keep it together. You can just peel that right off. If you're buying acrylic from like a glass shop or a hardware store, usually they'll cut it for you. Um, just give them the dimensions and they'll, they'll chop it right out. That's a, that's a quick, easy way to do it. Um, it's, a, it's a heck of a lot easier than trying to go home and do it yourself, um, unless you're experienced with it. But for the most part, you know, going to Home Depot or your local glass shop, uh, they'll do it for you for close to nothing pretty much. They'll just charge you for the uh, cost of the acrylic. One thing the hardware store can't do for you, from what I know at least, um, is cut little slots in it here for you so it can overflow properly. Now I'm going to go out to the shop and show you how to do that. Okay, so now we're out in the shop here. Um, 
We're going to use this little belt sander here to make our grooves. If you don't have one of these belt sanders, um, you can also use a Dremel or a, a table saw if you have one, or even a jigsaw would probably work for something like this. But um, you got to take your pieces here. You got to know what you're, uh, know which ones you're cutting. I only need one of these cut for the five-inch one that's ten inches tall. Uh, just because I only need it to go into that one section of overflow. So uh, we're going to go ahead and turn her on. There you have it. Now you want to make sure that these are all evenly spaced to the bottom. That's about a quarter of an inch there. Um, really only need three about that wide. That's about an inch wide there. Really only need three of them on there. And you just need that on one of the sides. So it's going to be set up like this. And it's going to overflow into that smaller one. Now you take this one here. And this one you only have one of. You do the skinniest side. You could, do, you could probably get away with three again on that one. So we'll go ahead and turn it on. So there you go. Now when you're sanding these, you're going to get a little bit of an overlay of this right here. That stuff is pretty hot once it's done. If you let it dry, you can crack it off fairly nicely. So that's just about dry. See how it comes off real clean. And if you try to pull it off when it's when it's still hot, like this one here, it's going to stretch out a little and it's going to probably burn your fingers up a little. So just let it cool down before you go and pull it off. And there's that one there. Now for this one, this is going to go across the tank this way, so you want to uh, slot it on the long side. So you could probably get about five or six in there, decent ones. So we'll go ahead and turn her on and uh, cut the slots. There you go. I was able to get six in there. Once again, let these cool because they are pretty warm when they uh, first come out. This one's just about cool. Be able to rip that off real nice. One thing I forgot to mention: when you're doing this, you should always wear safety glasses and protect uh, the proper protection for the machine you're using. Uh, this is a Delta sander. Um, it's got a five-inch spinning wheel and a uh, twelve-inch belt, uh, one inch wide there. So uh, it's pretty. It's pretty nice. It's, it comes in handy definitely. Now uh, another tip I want to mention. Your edges on your tank are silicone sealed. Now these edges are pretty sharp. So uh, to make up for that, I'm just going to take off a little bit of the edge here so it uh, properly seats inside the tank without damaging that silicone. So I'll show you what I'm going to do here on the, on the wheel. I'm going to flip her on and you're just going to sand off a little bit on the end. And for a 10 gallon tank, that little section right there is all you really need. And that'll do you fine. You also want to do it for these. Now this one only needs one side because it's only touching one side. So uh, this will be the side that I'll have facing towards the silicone. So I'll just sand a little bit off of that end. And do the same thing accordingly with the other ones. Now with all the edges sanded, you'll get the proper seating you need in order to silicone it into place properly.